Welcome to this episode of Ask the Guitar Coach, the only podcast where you get answers to all your guitar-related questions. If you're interested in developing your guitar skills and reaching your music goals, please send me an email at the email address ioannis at ioannis.org. That is I-O-A-N-N-I-S at I-O-A-N-N-I-S dot org so that I can let you know about all the different packages of Elite Guitar Coaching and how you can get private coaching by me. Without further ado, let's go to our question for the day. What is the actual role of the guitar coach? Is it the materials, the feedback, the strategy? What is it? Okay, now this is a good question. That's a great question. Thank you very much for sending this over because it's really not clear to most people and I think I should have answered this question before. Um, So let's see if I can actually help you here. Now, most people will tend to think that the most important thing is materials. And pretty much the only thing I might get a complaint about from a student is about the materials. Now, the interesting thing is I will get the exact opposite complaint even from the same materials. The same person, I'm sorry, for the same materials, a different person will say it's too easy or too difficult, it's too much material or too little. But still, it's the material, it's always about the materials. The materials is only about 15% of the equation. So, 15% of the job of the coach is the materials. If you just want to go to a guitar coach so to get good quality materials, I would really not suggest that. You can find good quality materials in other places as well for much less cost. But trust me when I say this is not the whole story. Your problem, if you have a problem in your playing, is not the lack of good quality materials. Moving on, another 15 to 20% of the coach's work is the emotional, psychological support and encouragement. So everybody, every human being has these times when uh, he really wants to practice and want to get better, wants to play, wants to develop himself. And then the other times when he's really what we call in a slump and says, oh, these things are not going well, things are not ever gonna get better. I don't know what to do. Now, if you don't have a coach at the time, chances are overwhelmingly so, that you will just flat out quit because you don't know what to do, you don't know if you're going to be continuing to get better or if if this is temporary or if this is going to continue. So you just go into energy um, reservation, preservation and then you just quit. And I mean quit your lessons, quit playing guitar or at least quit practicing seriously. And then obviously, once you quit practicing, things go downhill immediately. That's um, never a good thing. So having a coach at the time, he's going to give you a proper amount, a normal amount of encouragement, telling you that this is normal. And uh, you, when you develop your playing, it's not a linear development. You have times that you're getting better and then times that you're staying stagnating a little bit. And he's going to help you not give up. So that's definitely another 15 to 20% on the whole equation. So we said 15% is the materials, another 15, maybe 20% is the emotional support. Let's go to the really big one, 50%. 50% of coaching is the feedback. The feedback of the coach. The point where you play something, you you have taken some material, you try to learn it, you learn it, you memorize it, you're all happy, you think, you're doing it properly and you go to the coaching session and he tells you, no, this is totally wrong. So why is this important? Think about it this way. You're making a mistake without knowing that you made a mistake. And this mistake was now has been corrected as soon as you went to see the coach again or as soon as you sent him a video, as is in my case with my elite guitar coaching uh, services. If, you do n- if this thing doesn't get immediately corrected by the coach, when is it going to be corrected? I will answer this for you, never. It's going to stay there as a mistake in your playing, as a, as a very suboptimal way of playing forever. It's going to be there from 
after 50 years is still going to be there. And the bad thing is those things stack up. So if you have a wrong way of holding the guitar, wrong doesn't mean you have it on the floor. It just means it's not ideal. If you have a wrong way of supporting it with your fretting hand, a, diff a not optimum way of using your thumb, not holding the pick very correctly, all these things stack up to create what we call a bad playing. In this case, bad playing technique. This can lead to injuries, it can lead to all kinds of things. Anyway, the important thing is that this can only be fixed by a coach's feedback. So that's why I think that this is 50% of the battle. So that leaves another 15 to 20%, which is basically the medium to long-term strategy. And uh, by strategy, I mean what getting your goals together talking to you about what your music goals are and how they are developing while you're practicing and while you're playing and while you're becoming a better guitar player and then creating a strategy for them. So this is very important because since the coach has done it hopefully hundreds of times before, he knows exactly how to get you from point A to point B. Meanwhile, you as a student, and no disrespect, but you've never done this before. So it's your first time there. The same way that you, if you have a cab driver who lives in a city and has done a specific um, route around the city thousands of times, he would know the city much better than someone who's just a tourist and is there for the first day. The same way the guitar coach knows exactly how to get you from point A to point B, while you have basically no idea because it's your first time trying to do that. So these are the four roles and their respective percentages, once again, more or less, on what the roles of the guitar coach is and what exactly he's doing. It's definitely not just the materials and definitely not just the emotional support, but it's a combination of materials, emotional support, meeting a long-term strategy and also the most important thing, the personalized feedback on what you're doing right and what you're doing wrong. So there you have it. I hope this was helpful and clarified a little bit on what the different roles of the guitar coach are. And I will see you on the next episode of Ask the Guitar Coach. Until then, keep on shredding and keep those questions coming. Bye-bye.